To get started, I just added a background video to my timeline along with an image on the track above. Let's begin by selecting our image and going over to Effect Controls Position, the time marker to where you want your image to start coming in from off screen. I'm just going to put mine at the start of my clip. Then drag the position's first or second value until your image is off screen where you want it to come in. Click the stopwatch next to position to create a starting keyframe. Move the time marker to where you want your image to come back on screen. Drag that same position's value again until your image is back on screen to automatically create a second keyframe. Okay, now when I play this back, my image slides in from off screen, but it isn't very smooth. To smooth things out, drag to select both your keyframes in effect controls, right? Click one of them and hover over temporal interpolation. You can play around with any of these settings, but I find that ease in and ease out tend to look the best. And now when I play this spec again, it looks a lot smoother. All right, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Get ready, five, four, three, two, one, let's begin. Get ready, five, four, three, two, one, let's begin. 11. To get started, position the playhead over the part of the video on the timeline you want your text to fade in at. Then select the type tool and click anywhere inside the preview panel to type your text. All right, now that you've added some text, you should see a pink text clip on your timeline. If you wanna change your text duration, simply drag the end of that text clip. Next, let's add a fade by going over to the effects panel and type dissolve into the search box. Under video transitions, you should see a few different dissolves. Drag film dissolve under the very beginning of your text clip to fade it in. All right, and now when I play this back, my text fades in. You can also use cross dissolve, but I think film dissolve looks more cinematic on video. To change the phase duration, simply drag the end of your dissolve transition on your clip. If you want to fade your text back out, drag Film Dissolve from the Effects panel onto the end of your text clip. Okay, now my clip fades in and out, but I'm going to undo adding the dissolves and show you an even easier way to fade using default transitions back in the Effects panel right-click, Film Dissolve, and click Set Selected as Default Transition. Now select your text clip on the timeline and use the Ctrl D keyboard shortcut to add a quick film dissolve transition to your attack. And of course, if you just want to fade in and not fade out, you just select the fade out transition and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If this video helpful to learn quickly, hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon then you won't miss any upcoming tutorials.